guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ah, for this video, guys, yo sa you is it trouble namin. So gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo yung mga small video na nakunan ko doon kung saan kami pumunta kung saan kami namasya so gusto ko lang ipamahagi naman sa aking youtube viewers so sama niya ako guys at manood at enjoy at thank you for watching at thank you lahat sa, sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa aking youtube channel thank you and god bless us all so let's watch guys Sanji Guzu California, USA, part one. Welcome to San Diego Zoo and the Lion King. Lucky, yeah, the Lion King. So, welcome to San Diego Zoo. So, papasok na tayo. San Diego Zoo, papasok na tayo sa entrance at yeah. I-explore natin akong manong mayroon sa loob. Ayan ang ating sasakyan para ma-explore natin ang buong zoo. Sakay tayo dyan. Now the San Diego Zoo focuses on eight different conservation hubs. And right now we're driving through our Asian Rainforest Hub. So coming up on our right side, we're going to travel across the globe all the way to the Borneo forest and look around for this space with their eyes. Sometimes they're hiding and sometimes they're back in their habitat or their apartment. But if you see them, point them out to your friends. My people up top, all I see is a leg, but in the very top right corner, you'll have to turn your head. We're preparing for the heat of the summer here in San Diego. Some of the animals here at the San Diego Zoo enjoy their independence and their solitude, but others are more social creatures. So coming up on our right side, let's look at this habitat and see if we see any swamp monkeys who coexist with river otters who live down at the bottom. Now each and every one of the swamp monkeys we have here at the San Diego Zoo were rescued from the bush meat trade where they were being sold either as food or as pets. In the heat of the summer here in San Diego, you can see flamingo habitat. Now we have two different types of flamingos who live here at the San Diego Zoo. We have the American flamingo, which is the brighter pink flamingo, and then the greater flamingo that's native to Asia and Africa. Up in the sky on our right side, we have a trail called Eagle Trail. That's that big brown bridge. But on top of that boulder is one of the largest birds we have here at the San Diego Zoo. That guy is an Andean condor. Now he is the smaller one, but we do have another one who lives in there. Coming up on the left side, in the distance, you may catch a glimpse of the Cabrillo Bridge. The Cabrillo Bridge was built in 1914 to commemorate the opening of the Panama Canal. Now we held the Panama California exhibition here in San Diego and when it had ended our owner and founder Harry Wegaforth was walking through Balboa Park when he heard a lion roar. Now he headed towards that sound and found many of the animals that were at the exhibition abandoned in cages in Balboa Park. He collected and rescued each and every one of those animals almost 107 years old now. Through these pines on our right side, let's look for another multi-species habitat. See if we see any zebras hanging out, having a late lunch with their friends, the bighorn antelope. Kind of have to look through these trees, turn your heads all the way around, but I see some bumps. Down in the dirt in this next habitat, we have the smallest species. The atmosphere is heating up. Now, why is this happening is because things like cars, when we emit fuel, uh, it releases carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Small ways that we can help minimize this every day would be by riding public transportation just like we are on this bus right now. There's about a hundred of us. For those of you standing up the San Diego Zoo, coming up on the right side, we're going to look around for two big In this last habitat, they look a lot like warthogs you may see in Africa, but these guys are native to the country of Peru and go by the name Chicoan peccaries, but we like to call them our living fossils.
on our left side. Here is our second access to our Sky Fari. This one will take you guys back up to the front of the zoo. I like to recommend you guys ride it at the end of the day when your legs are feeling tired. This is the closest uh, point it will take you to the exit. Our Mowgli's 4D Adventure is a 15 minute long movie y'all can check out. And behind this netting on our left side lives a crepuscular animal. Now crepuscular means that they are most active at dawn and dusk. So our cougar, our catamount, or our mountain lion lives in here. I think I just saw her brother Ernest is down on the bottom. He's pacing around. We might get a better view of him. Just a second. Here he comes. All right, guys, so these guys are 14 and 11 years old, and they were born up at our safari park in Escondido, Escondido as well. Just like your house cats at home, these guys sleep for 16 to 20 hours a day. They want to conserve as much energy as possible when they're not hunting for food. Now, out in the when you guys are leaving this afternoon, keep your ears wide. Big yawn coming on from him this morning. He looks absolutely stunning this morning. The big one cannot learn that. Thank you. There you can see. All right, let's look around for another big cat species. You can see the big one. This next habitat, a bit more elusive species, one that goes by the name Nindiri. She is a jaguar. Now, guys, she is on. A but we're getting to a more exciting part. We're entering our elephant odyssey. Well, our elephant sanctuary. This is the first third of our elephant sanctuary. These big mechanical looking trees are what we call utility trees. Now those provide shade for our animals in the summer, heat in the winter, food storage, as well as a sprinkler system if it hasn't rained in a while. This big gray building on our right side is our elephant care center. So this is where our elephants go to get their nails done. They get the occasional mani-pedi. They go to the dentist, just like you and I would. Uh, and they also go through wildlife care training with their specialist. So through this fencing on our right side, we practice protective barriers uh, with all of our larger animals. So that's what you're seeing over here. All right, before we get back to elephants, down on the very bottom, close to this fencing, lives a bird of prey. He looks kind of silly with that crazy hairstyle, but this guy is called a secretary bird. Now, if it were to stand up, you guys would see very scrawny legs, but believe it or not, these guys never skip leg day. These guys capture their prey with their claws, and then they stomp it down into a mashed potato-like texture and they swallow their prey whole. Larry, he wanted to show you. All right, so San Diego Zoo. She is 43 years old. She is an African elephant. Let me pull forward a little bit, see if we can get a better view of her from this other side. Here she comes. Yay! Perfect. All right, y'all. So take a look at her ears. That's how you know she's an African elephant. They're absolutely massive and shaped very similarly to the continent of Africa. That trunk that she is using to eat her in this next habitat for a pair of sisters all the way from the Sahara. These girls are our two one-humped or dromedary camels. Those humps are not just giant water jugs, they're filled with fat. They pull upon that fat storage when they don't have easy access to food or water in order to give themselves as much as any two California condors left on Earth. We collected them all and put them in a space where they could mate and breed. And now over the past 600, you can find these guys in Baja, Mexico. You can find them flying over the Grand Canyon and then here in Southern California. The reason why their population levels were, dwind were dwindling so quickly is because farmers introduced the use of pesticides. Now they